Hello, this is question number eight, unit three, focusing in rounding. Jing Shi Zhi. Round 657 to the nearest 10. 657 decimal point. So underline your 10. Nearest 10. My 10 would be ge shi xie, underline this 5. Or in English, it's called unit or 10. I'm not going to look at the underlying number, but instead I'm going to look at the number after 5, which is this digit 7. So there are two possibilities on rounding. Either you round up or you round down. How do I decide? I look at the number. If the digit after 5 is more than or equal to 5, which is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, therefore I'm going to add 1 on the 10 place value. That is 6, 6, and slash off the rest becomes 0. So in this case, I'm going to round up and it will give me 660 rounding to the nearest of 10. B, a number has been rounded to the nearest 1,000 to give 45,000. What is the largest possible whole number? This is a reverse way where they tell you that the final number after rounding is 45,000. They want you to find the number before rounding. This is slightly challenging because you have to try think creatively and look a guess. So again, I can also round up or round down. So think a little bit. In order to find the largest possible whole number, largest, largest, should I go for rounding down or rounding up? If I don't know, let's try both. So, to round a number to 45,000, my number has to be bigger than 45,000, right? For example, I can number that is bigger than 45,000. Let's say this number, underline 1,000. Check, check the digit after 5. If this is bigger than or equals to 5, I'm going to plus 1. But this is round down. That means I'm going to slash off this and replace by zeros. So this is a good number, 45,400. But what is the largest number? So 45,400. Can I add in other digit instead of zero? How about one? Yes, I underline 1,000. I check the digit right after five. It is still less than five. So I'm going to slash off this anyway. So this could be one. How about two? Yes. Oh, how about nine, the largest number? Let's see. Again, I'm also only looking at the digit next to five. It is still less than five. So I'm going to slash off anyway. So this nine doesn't affect anything. So I can also add in this to the largest digit from zero to nine, therefore must be nine. So this is the number. Let me try to round down this number. So underline 1000, look at the digit right after five, less than five, I'm gonna slash off this and that will take me to 45,000, yes. So this is a good number, 45,499. Let's see round up. To round up a number to 45,000, round up, that means I should have a number lesser than 45,000. Lesser than 45,000, maybe I will get 44,000. Is it okay? And line 1,000, check the digit right after four. No. I'm going to round up, therefore this has to be bigger than five. Five, yes. That will take me to 45,000. If I have 44,000, 
500. Let's see, yeah, 44,500. Yeah, this is a good number. This is a number that I'm going to round up to 45,000. So let's check between these two numbers then. I have 45,499 and 44,500. Which one is the largest? Of course, 45,499. Therefore, in this case, this number is the largest number. When I round down, it will give me 45,000. So the answer would be 45499. Slightly complex. If you don't get it, you might need to talk to me or discuss with me, probably in Mandarin or with other friends that can make you think creatively out of this. Okay.